What is going on guys? So today we're back with another Pokemon Masters video and today we actually need to do some sing pair stories. Uh, we've kind of been lacking on these a little lately. Uh, my plan is to just kind of do some sing pair stories on the weekends, something a little bit more relaxed, not too crazy. So uh, let's actually get in. It looks like because of all of the new sync pairs that we've scouted lately, uh, we do actually have a couple that have basically bumped down our boy Wickstrom. I used to think there was an L in his name. I still try to pronounce it like there is. So let's actually go over Agatha and then we'll go into our next one here. So let's see what Gengar and Agatha are doing in this cave. Atticus carefully made her way through a long, dark cave. And then a Gengar that appeared to be wild jumped out at her. I'll catch you. Now, now, dear, you shouldn't frighten guests like that. Sorry about, Sorry about that, Atticus. You can draw out Gengar's power to the fullest in dark places, which is why we're here. <laughs> I myself like places where the sun doesn't shine. Okay. They make me feel calm. Really? Don't judge me. That's just how I am. Doesn't it get lonely? That's really none of your concern. Why is it that I always meet people like you? It's been that way for a long, long time. What do you mean? And on top of being nosy, you're a meddlesome child too. Yes, child. Ah well, I guess it won't hurt to talk a bit. Do you know Oak? I've been stuck with him for a long, long time. That old Duff was once tough and handsome. He's a shadow of his former self now. He does know and talk a lot about Pokemon, which might be why he's always surrounded by people. He used to shine so brightly. Compared to him, I'm the quiet type when it comes to Pokemon. I like to get lost in thought about them all by myself. I was doing what I liked, but that old Duff Oak would not stop talking to me. I think he was trying to be nice, but he was giving me help that I never asked for. He was taking up the time I wanted to spend in contemplation, so I thought I'd try to shut him up with a Pokemon battle. But back then, that old guy was strong, understood, in fact. He was as good as me, he was better. So then I battled Oak again and again. At some point, the time I spent with him started meaning a lot to me. One day, all of a sudden, the old Duff said he wanted to make a Pokedex. I told him that Pokemon are for battling, but he wouldn't listen to me. He wasted my precious time, and when he'd had enough with our battles, he left. Why do charming men have to be so meddlesome? He trampled all over my youth, even though I never wanted anything to do with him in the first place. Hey, Gengar, don't interrupt me when I'm talking. You're just as meddlesome as ever, aren't you? Meddlesome? That's right. She always interrupts me when she thinks it's for my own good. Whenever I talk about that old oak guy, my tone of voice gets harsh, so she worries about me. I always tell her that she doesn't need to, though. But the truth is, she has helped me many times throughout my life. That's the one thing you should keep in mind, Atticus. No matter how much you think you're alone and no one understands you, people are never really alone. If you take a look around you, you'll definitely find someone meddlesome lurking nearby. Like in the shadow of that rock over there. Ooh, I wonder who was in the rock. So let's now check out what's going on with our girl Glacia, man. I am so excited that I finally get to enjoy Glalie in Pokemon Masters. It's just, oh, I love it. I love it. All right. One day, as Atticus was searching for challengers on the boulevard, she suddenly found herself face to face with Glacia. Well, hello there. You look like you're positively itching for a Pokemon battle. While I admire your enthusiasm, you should know that battling isn't the only way to hone your skills. It isn't? Oh, no. Certainly not. And sense of training can be quite effective as well. Since my dear Glalie is vulnerable to heat, I've designed a training regimen that focuses on that. <laughs> I think your Pokemon could benefit as well. Would you care to join us? Of course. Oh, I do love your enthusiasm. Please follow me right this way. Into a volcano, maybe? Well, now. How did I know? Here we are. Alrighty. Did you think I would bring you to a snowy mountaintop? 
Glalie thrives in the freezing cold, so training in a place like that would be pointless for us. No, we choose to train in the climates we're most vulnerable to. That's what makes it so shall effective. We well, shall we begin? We'll start off gently. After all, this training regimen isn't for our Pokemon, it's for us as well. well now. First, let's see how well we do in sweltering heat when focused to act quickly on a decision. Ooh, I like this. If the heat is feeling like it's a bit much for you, you could always let Glalie cool you down. But if you end up frozen stiff, he may just crunch you right up in his jaws. Come on, Glalie, give us a nice beam. Ugh, no thanks. Oh dear. Dodge. My, what spectacular reflexes. You managed to dodge the ice beam perfectly. Oh! Well done. I think I may have worked up a bit of a sweat. So many excellent sync pairs have made their way here to Passio, but there are a few among them who seem extra promising. I can't help but want to butt in and give them advice. I've taken it upon myself to hear the next generation of talent. Hopefully, someday, the two of us can have a serious battle. Oh ho ho! So that is actually what is up with both Agatha and with Glacia. So now we're gonna do our routine little sync pair scout. So. We are actually running really low on gems. I am quite scared here. So we're just gonna do a daily discount, try to save some gems, uh, considering we don't have too many, um, and then we'll just kinda go from there. Uh, we still do need quite a few uh, sync pairs. I'm actually down to only three five stars left and one four star. So let's see what we get here. The odds are against me. It's more than likely gonna be a dupe, but you never know. I mean, luck may be on our side, doesn't look like it right now. Three star antenna. What kind of doors do we get? Just some three star doors. So that's pretty much it. So that's actually going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thanks so much for watching. As always, remember, if you want to join the Discord, it is down in the description below. But until our next video, I'm going to go ahead and head out and see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, always remember that if you like to like videos, you could do that. But if you don't, you could be that guy. Otherwise, uh, let me know what you have to say down in the comments below about the video. I do highly appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want to support me in any way, there are several links down in the description for Patreon, uh, joining the community here on YouTube, or even just directly PayPal if that's your thing. I greatly appreciate everyone's name that's on screen as you guys have showed some sort of support outside of just viewing the videos. And I thank you guys, you, you don't understand from the bottom of my heart. So until our next video guys, I will catch you then.